How's it going guys? This is the last video for the second season and this is a very very interesting video and an interesting game we'll be having on the video. Um, I'm going to run you through the fixtures since the last game and I think the last game we did was against Swansea which we drew 2-2. I think it was that game anyway. Um, yeah it was. Since then we had a 3-2 defeat against Everton. A 1-0 defeat against Man City. And then we had a really, really good victory against Stoke City. Jordan Rhodes scoring two goals and Clement McManaman with the other. Then we had a 2-1 loss against Chelsea. We actually went ahead in that game and played really good football. We had probably, you know, this game I just really wanted to win because I needed to, at the time I really needed to, and I lost 1-0. So after that game I had to change things around and I did. Um, we had a 2-0 victory against Cardiff, who are, who are relegation rivals with us at the moment. 2-0, Jordan Rhodes and Tom Ince with the goals. We had a 1-1 draw against Norwich. We went ahead, but literally in the second half, we just got really, really tired. And they put the pressure on. Um, and Norwich are flying high in the table. Um, Jordan Rhodes with a goal for us anyway. We had a 2-2 draw against Reading. Gail Kakuta with a goal. And Jordan Rhodes with a penalty. We actually had another penalty. Well, got saved. Uh, we should have won that game. But in the last five games, we've played the best football um, all season, without a doubt, as you can see by the results. 2-0 um, against Sunderland. Jordan Rhodes and Ben Gibson are expecting us to win that game because we beat Sunderland early on in the season. Then we had a 1-0 victory against Tottenham. Let's just look at the stats here. You know, Tottenham that did actually dominate us, but we were playing, you know, defensive and rigid, and we just literally took our chance with Tom Ince and uh, held on to the game. I was really happy with that. I thought that was going to be similar to the the games before with the Norwich and Reading games, uh, where we went ahead and just uh, conceded. But this game here against Manchester United was it's probably one of the most insane games I've had on Football Manager 2014. It was 50-50. Um, quite a lot of players got booked in the game but literally ev nearly every chance that we had or clear cut chance we had we scored Tom Inks, uh, Nicholas, Hellenius, uh, Daniel Ayala and Jordan Rhodes with the goals and another thing is what I've got to contribute to that victory is bringing in the second striker instead of Gail Kakuta in attacking midfield it's literally just give us I don't know, better teamwork for some reason. Gail Coote's a great player, but his concentration's not there. And he gives the ball away a lot when we get it into the area, uh, the penalty area. And he's done that all season, literally, but he has contributed a lot, it's got to be said as well. So we're playing Fulham today, but you will be thinking that I'm very clear. You know, I'm clear as day um, in the relegation battle. But what I need is a draw. Uh, in, today, in today's game against Fulham I need a draw you know if if I lost and the other teams won say Cardiff or West Ham or even maybe Aston Villa depending on how much goals to score um, we could still go down so we need to at least have a, a draw you know that's it we need a draw and we'll stay up if we lose and other teams win you know we'll probably end up uh, going down it's just crazy and I'd, you know with the form and everything like that the form we've had, literally going unbeaten um, since March in uh, the Premier League. I, th I thought we'd be well clear, you know, well clear relegation zone. But the funny thing is, you know, Aston Villa, you know, they actually won the Capital One Cup and they're 18th in the table. They're going to be playing European football next season if they qualify. So it's crazy, like literally all the bottom teams' this form. Uh, and towards the end of the season that's picked up including ours and you know today's game is literally the biggest you know the biggest game on this bit of space we've ever played you know to stay up for a second season would be a really great achievement for me and looking back on the season I know I'm rambling on a little bit you know starting off look at all those bad results that we had um, because we didn't have the right players in midfield really got all those uh, defeats draws there and you know, after January, we played better. You know, we played better against the you know the better teams, and we've like basically won uh, against the teams that we've had a chance against. If that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the, today's game against Fulham, and we need a draw. Simple as that. 
this will be the lineup I'll be using uh, Jordan Rose, Hellenius, Tom Ince, Ledesma, uh, Thiago Motta, Gareth Barry. I actually just signed Thiago Motta on a free transfer. Uh, Gareth Barry, uh, Van Arnholt, Ben Gibson, I've just offered a new contract, Danny Oyala, Patrick, and Jason Steele. So let's go to today's game, guys. And hopefully get this draw or a win. It's tomorrow, but yeah, let's just skip forward anyway. Yeah, Fulham already relegated. But you know, if we do stay up, there will be a lot more pressure on us next season for a mid-table finish. That's normally what happens on... Um, Football manager, you know, you get promoted, you stay up, they want more, more, more. Obviously, I can understand that. So, we'll have to bring in some certain players. I want to strengthen uh, certain areas anyway, but um, you know, Jordan Rhodes really has been our key player all season. Um, sometimes he gives the ball away when he's not in the penalty area, you know, when he tracks back and he's trying to go forward. He's not that good going forward for us, but you know, when he's in the area, he's so deadly. Anyway, here's the game. It'd be, it'd be hilarious if we ended up losing and getting relegated after that form. It'd be just insane. Right, Tom Ince on the ball. Whoa. Right, Ben Gibson. Tom Ince. Right, towards Rhodes. Rhodes pounces on the ball. And it's a goal, get in. Hellenius. Literally, guys, the difference between playing with one strike and two strikers in these last few games of the season, these last five, six games of the season, has been amazing. Their partnership, even though Hellenius hasn't really scored, but he's just literally just like can hold the ball up, keep possession in that area, and that's what we haven't had all season. Had a Diesma with free kick for the Fulham goalkeeper collects. And he just boots it. I think I will be strengthening the defence because if I do stay up anyway. Hellenius to Ledesma. Been playing the Ledesma a little bit more. Right, Jordan Rhodes. Hellenius with a goal. Gellin. And I think that's how you pronounce his name anyway. Hellenius, that's that's how I see it, that's how I'll say it, you know. So 90 minutes gone, 2-0. And what I explained before the game about the part partnership, that's what I mean. Right, Steel collects there. Aston Villa are losing as well, that's important. They're just there gone 1-0 behind against uh, Man City. And out of all of the... Um, Oh yes, get in. That's an hat trick. <laughs> See, you know what? Hindsight is a powerful thing, but you know I should have played with two forwards all season. Maybe I'd have uh, done a lot better. Right, steel collect there. Thirty minutes gone. We've got fifty-nine percent of their of the possession to their forty-one. All right, Tom Ince. Jordan Rhodes now collects it, passes it to Gary Barry or Gareth Barry. Ledesma, good save there by the Fulham goalkeeper. So it looks like we're going to stay up. It does. <laughs> it does look like we're going to stay up. Um, Gibson with a goal there. It was being one. Gibson and Jordan Rhodes have probably been the best players all season. He's, you know, Ben Gibson, who's only young, has been a rock at the defence, basically. Consistent all the time. So, yeah, it looks like I can just look forward to the next season. I'm actually really looking forward to this now. Um, improving the squad and everything like that. And getting, there's some players in my reserves that, you know... 
they're just wasting away basically you know the wage budget and everything like that. i want to get rid of them as well we've just had a new intake of um like the new youth and everything like that. we've got some decent players that are coming through the ranks from those young you know the young players that have just come in so still on the ball oh he always comes far out of his air but you know sometimes he does uh do well with that Gibson to Motta, Gareth Barry, who's been amazing since he's come in uh, January, amazing. Desma, Heitinger to Olsen, but Patrick picks it up there. Gareth Barry, right, Jordan Rose, Tom Ince. poor shot that worked really. Yeah, Aston Villa are losing 3 0 now. Alright, Gibson picks it up outside the area. Ayala, who's scored quite a few goals this season from defence. Another good save by the fun goalkeeper. So, 62 minutes gone, 4 0 up. Cruising. Oh, that will have to line that by uh, Ruiz N the, the, the interesting thing is about this season is um, normally you know I end the season bad I start off the season good and I end the season bad because players get injured or get tired or whatever um, but this season we've obviously finished it off really good like last season uh, in the full um, the middles per save. We started off really good and we just sort of got tired towards the end of the season. Right, Gareth Barry. The thing I like about Gareth Barry is he rarely gives the ball away. He did there, like, but you know, he got it back. Motta to Gibson. Gibson towards Tom Ince. And Rhodes. Oh, that should have been a goal, that. Been a lot of highlights in this half. Right, Patrick to Ayala, Gibson. Hopefully this fit because I've got quite a few. As I'm doing this video, I've got quite a few videos saved to my laptop that I'll be uploading on this save. So hopefully this will be, you know, uploaded by the time the actual Premier League season. You know what's going on in real life has finished. Right, Rhodes, and he scores a lovely goal there to cap off a great game. You know, and he's been amazing all season. Scored tons of goals. That's his twenty seventh goal of the season, which is uh, you know really good for our team. I'd say. Pretty sure there'll be um, big clubs coming in for him during the summer as well. But they've got to offer that cash, you know. Like right, Motta. Like Desma. But now it looks like it's going to be full time any second now. And it's all over. 5 0 victory. We only needed a draw. But you know, 5 0 victory. Really amazing, that is. So let's just go to the uh, table. We'll, look at, we'll have a proper look at the uh, full table. Let's look at the um, the last games. Leicester drew. I'm just going to talk about the teams that were like close to us, really. Um, Reading, well, they come up with us. They finished eighth, which is amazing for them. Norwich has finished third. Well, Aston Villa, they lost 4-0, so they've relegated. Cardiff lost 5-0. Uh, let's look at league table. So, yeah, we ended up finishing 13th. Only one point behind Everton, but you know, that's how crazy the Premier League is. You know, just a matter of one or two points can make a huge difference. 
so we basically finish on 46 points let's hope let's hope next season that we can have at least 10 more points on that another 10 points on that next season and see what we can do so Aston Villa, Leicester and Fulham are relegated and Norwich have got Champions League football next season how crazy is that Stoke have got um, Europa League football so have Arsenal uh, so yeah Man United finishing 7th and obviously Man City being the champions so let's look at some of the stats player Jordan Rhodes ended up finishing the top goal scorer in the Premier League with 26 goals Luis Suarez 22 goals behind him um, but we don't really figure into any of these stats apart from Jordan Rhodes Jason Steele had uh, 38 appearances that's like basically drop point uh, top joint or joint top with uh, Ron Vlaar so yeah next season will be a big season I don't know what mid goal will be I think uh, in the summer leading up to the, the third season and the second season in the Premier League will be um, basically clearing out some players not necessarily from the first team but from the reserves and bringing more players in and just basically getting a stronger squad together and in two years hopefully or two seasons hopefully getting European football and playing some really good football so thanks for watching this guys hopefully you'll join me for the third season and take care